Hello YouTube, this is Andy again, and I'm going to show you today on how to update to the latest version of the Android L release, it's Android 5.0. Now, uh, up until uh, Friday, the October the 17th, uh, I had been using the preview um, version of L to do all of the videos. From now on, I would actually be using uh, the first release version, the 5.0. Uh, this video is showing you how to get up to that 5.0 and even use the x80 x64 um, version the 64-bit version of Android L uh, if you have a compatible um, Intel processor so uh, this is running Linux this is Ubuntu if you haven't seen Linux before and uh, this doesn't require any special hardware or software like um, uh, Win Windows and Mac does they require Intel's uh, Haxom um, software in order for you to run images on uh, on those operating systems but uh, I have a 64-bit version of Ubuntu and you can boot 64-bit versions of virtual machines without issue so uh, this right here is actually a 64-bit version of a Nexus 5 build uh, don't mind the graphical glitches that's actually my Ubuntu um, Uh, drivers for my video card are actually not that great. It does actually run very well. Um, I think most of the video card drivers are actually an issue because I'm recording this because it was working fine just a little bit ago. But um, you get a new notification screen. There we go. Slightly different animations and button press looks. Um, but for the most part everything seems to work very well on this uh, 64-bit build um, all right so let's show you how to do that if you're running Android Studio or uh, Eclipse you should have these buttons up top so the first thing you want to do is actually download the images so we're gonna open up our SDK manager um, if you, you should have it automatically selected but if you don't uh, we're looking to download all all of this uh, Android 5.0 API 21 um, this whole folder here uh, as well there will be uh, a new uh, build tools and a few updates here with the Google Play services um, and I believe that's it now, I've already uninstalled the preview because um, I will not be using it and uh, as you can see it's no longer uh, on the list it would be under that obsolete tab right here uh, which I would have to refresh it um, so that's gonna so the first thing you want to do is download this and your new build tools now once you have that you're gonna want to go to your virtual machine uh, manager Android virtual device manager sorry and then um, we'll create a new device here let's do uh, Nexus 7 Okay, we'll select our device, which will be 2013 Nexus 7, which is this one. We're going to, we are going to target uh, API level 21, and then this uses the Google APIs. And let's do a 64-bit version since I have that uh, as an option. No skin. Um, RAM is good. SD card doesn't really need that much because uh, it's just a virtual machine and uh, don't forget to use your host GPU uh, if you want a little bit better um, graphics all right so once we've created that device it'll show up on this uh, on our list here all right so let's start it Close our Nexus 5. Okay, let that boot. Now, one big thing to distinguish the preview and the official is the new boot animation with the new Android uh, script here. Okay. 
again I'm having issues with the graphics card while recording but uh, this is a 64-bit uh, using it as a tablet and uh, ignore this cast screen it's there but it doesn't actually work um, you can't cast anything on your own network from uh, your virtual machine but it's nice that it's there that you can actually see where it'll be if you have one of those devices and um, you know most of the things have been updated like the contacts the calculator uh, email all these have new icons and new looks to them the clock uh, adjusts according to the time of day but then you have this stuff that really hasn't seen any change at all which is like the messaging app um, you got let's see the calendar which hasn't updated oh actually it has okay calendar updated but not really all that much just I guess the login screen um, browser hasn't updated and the gallery I mean this is really really old hasn't been updated in forever so just going over the new uh, emulator for 64-bit systems and uh, hope you enjoy this video uh, to get your app ready with the newest build tools uh, don't forget to change your build tools version to the latest uh, if you don't know what version you have you can always pull up the SDK manager and uh, copy this number here that'll be the, the number that you want to stick here and uh, the API that the official API number for um, Android 5.0 is 21 so you'll want to change the the target in the compile SDK version uh, to 21 and that gives you all of the uh, material uh, abilities to theme your app in, uh, in material. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.